Hi, I'm Paul Edwards with Norton Clipper, and today we're going to replace the motor on a BBM 307. We will first remove the four screws that retain the wiring connector cover. After that, we'll separate the wire nuts from the motor. Remove the air filter. Remove the four screws that retains the motor housing in place. Yeah, it can... Lift the motor housing off the machine. Now we will remove one brush cap at a time, remove the brush, and repeat for the opposite side. Remove the four screws that hold the motor filled windings in place and then slide the filled windings off the armature. Remove the air guide. If the armature does not pull out of the cutting head housing, then come over to the blade side of the machine, open the blade vent cover. Remove the blade shaft retaining bolt. Outer collar, remove it. Inner collar, remove. Now remove the two caps that cover the two blade guard retaining screws. Now we'll take a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the screws located in this hole and this hole. Then we'll remove the bottom two blade guard retaining screws. Now move the blade guard out of the way. Now we'll remove the two screws that hold the bearing plate for the blade shaft. Now take our punch place it on the end of the blade shaft and tap the blade shaft out of the casting. Did it move? When the armature shaft is almost pushed through the bearing, come over to the other side, grasp the armature, and pull out of the bearing. Before installing the blade shaft assembly into the casting, make sure the gears are completely coated in grease. The grease that we use at the factory is a mobile XHP222. Align the flanges with the bosses in the casting. Attach the two screws. Wipe off any grease that may have squeezed out or dripped out during the assembly process. Now we'll move over to the motor side of the machine. If the armature's larger bearing did not come out with the armature, we'll have to tap it out of the casting. Place some grease on the helical gear located on the end of the armature. Slide the helical gear and bearing into the casting. Now to fully seat the armature, we'll have to tap the end of the armature shaft with a rubber mallet. Now we'll install the air guide. Note that the side with the tabs or vent opening will face towards the bottom and towards the rear of the machine. Install the wave washer into the small bearing cavity located in the filled winding housing. Now slide the filled windings over the armature, making sure to feed the switch wires through the electrical opening. Install 
and tighten the four motor retaining screws. Now we'll do the electrical connections from the switch to the motor. You'll note that the two thinner wires, the white and black, are coming from the switch. The two white wires, larger ones, are going to the motor. At this point, it does not matter which wire the black wire attaches to or the white because this is a universal motor. After we make our electrical connections, slide the wires into the terminal box. Place the wiring cover. Slide the new brushes into the brush holder. Place the motor cover onto the motor, then attach and tighten the four motor cover retaining screws. Now install a new air filter. Note that the new air filter will have a scalloped or grooved side. That side will point towards the cutting head casting. Now move over to the blade shaft side of the machine and we'll install the blade guard. First move the blade guard into position. Attach the four blade guard retaining screws. Reinstall the two caps. Slide the inner collar or flange over the blade shaft. The inner collar is the one with the boss or raised area. Be sure to fully seat the collar onto the blade shaft. Install the outer collar and the blade shaft bolt. Note the blade shaft bolt is a left-handed thread. That's how you replace the motor on a BBM 307. I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to check out more from Norton Clipper.